हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू द कोर्स सीरीज पब्लिक इकोनॉमिक्स एंड दिस इज यूनिट सेवन थ्योरी ऑफ सोशल चॉइस सो वी विल सी द वोटिंग मेकेनिज्म सो व्हाट इज वोटिंग दिस इज अ वे टू रीच अ सोशल डिसीजन कंसीडरिंग इंडिविजुअल्स चॉइसेस सो देयर आर मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ वोटिंग आई सिंगल वोट वेयर द रिजल्ट विल बी फर्स्ट पास द पोस्ट वोटिंग एंड देर आर प्रिफ्रेंस वोटिंग वेयर वोटर्स Uh, give their preferences or ranking to the candidates so suppose there are five candidates a b c d e and e and there are many voters their preferences are first second third fourth and fifth so in this case uh, five voters choose a as their first preference b as second c as third and so on and nine voters choose a as their first preference c as second b as third and so on and 10 voters choose b as first and seven voters choose d as their first choice so if we go by this single vote first past the post voting system then we will only consider the first choice because each voter is only casting one vote there is no ranking so in that case a will get 5 plus 9 total 14 vote a will get and b will get 10 vote and candidate d gets the same number of votes so if we go by this rule then clearly a is the winner with the maximum number of votes compared to other candidates here c and e got zero number of votes but if we do a pair wise comparison as we have seen in the condorcet winner then a will lose against all the individuals so suppose we do a comparison between a and b then in first case a is preferred over b and in second case a is preferred over b so a got 5 plus 9 and in the this case b is preferred over a and in this case also b is preferred over a so b will get 10 plus 7 so 17 vote will b get and a will only get 14 votes so b is the winner in a comparison so using the pairwise comparison we will get that the c is the condorcet winner but he was getting zero votes when we were going through the single vote ruling first past the post voting system so ranking system can reveal much more information than only the single vote system so we will see some types of voting systems uh, in the world so first one is the plurality system so which is also called the first past the post system Yes this system is in India where the voters cast their vote and they choose their MPs or MLAs for the legislative assembly or the central parliament uh, so in this system each voter is only casting single vote and whoever candidate got the maximum number of votes that candidate is the winner so there is a different format also where the there are multiple post in one constituency so in that case voters cast equal to the vacancies are there in that constituency if in a constituency two post are there then each voter will cast two vote top two candidates they will be the winner so then there is the majority voting system so this is also called two round voting system or run off system here what happens the candidate will cast their vote and if there are more than two candidates then it is possible that no one will get the absolute majority 50% of votes plus 50% of votes so if there are more than two candidates then it is possible that no one will get the absolute majority plus 50% of votes in that case there will be another round of election between top two candidates so then someone will get the majority between these two candidates and he will be the winner so there is the third one the alternate voting system so this system is in presidential election in india so this is similar to the majority voting system the only thing is that in this system we don't go for the second round election we take the voters preferences in their first round itself so in this system what we do is the when the voters cast their vote if there are uh, many candidates then they give the ranking first second third fourth like this in the first round of counting we consider their first choices 
and uh, if no one is getting the absolute majority or plus 50 percent then we remove the last person last candidate and whoever voted to this candidate these voters we will consider these voters next preferences which is the second preferences and we will assign these second preferences to their candidates so even then no one will get the majority or absolute majority then we will repeat the same round again we will remove the last candidate and we assign the vote and we will look into his voters preferences and we will assign these votes to their next preferences and then we will check whether someone will got the absolute majority or not this process is keep on repeating uh, until we get a absolute majority candidate as winner so there is the fourth type of counting that is bold accounting voting system where we assign weight to each ranking choice the weight can be increasing like one two three four six is a type it can be the decreasing like the first preferences we will be given the highest number like four or then next is a three two one like this so in this case we count the vote value whether uh, the first value was four or what is the choice of the candidate and what is the choice of the voter and rather than the votes so this is the cardinalization of ordinal preference because we are assigning some kind of weight to each preference so we are doing a cardinalization of our ordinal preferences or ranking system then if the weights are increasing order then whoever person receives the least number of score will be the winner and if the weights are in decreasing order then whoever person receives the maximum score that person will be the winner then there is the point voting or score voting in this system we assign each candidate as best or average or worst it may be between numbers like first to 10 whoever receives one number he is the best and whoever receives 10 numbers he may be the worst or it can be reverse order like 10 he is the best or uh, one is the worst candidate in this case we can choose uh, multiple best candidates or multiple worst candidates or all of them are worst candidates in this sense this is different from board accounting because in in board accounting each score was unique and in the point voting system there could be multiple best candidates there is a different format is score voting where each voter got some amount of points like 100 and he, that voter decides to distribute those points between candidates and whoever candidates got the maximum number of points that uh, is the winner then there is strategic voting people or voters do not reveal their true preferences always one may choose vote keeping in mind the consequences in the election or in the next stage this voting mechanism is called strategic suppose there is a voter and there are two candidates a and b and this voter is doesn't like any of them he will choose nota so this voter knows that nota will not be the winner because not many people will vote for nota so there are good chances that b will be the winner but because he likes a more than b so he will not choose the nota but he will go for a he wants to make a as a winner because the more important thing is he doesn't want b over a though he likes nota as his first preferences but he knows that nota will not be the winner so it's better not to let b be the winner and uh, go for a so that's it for this video guys see you in the next video and post your doubt or query in the comment section below i will love the feedback thank you guys